The parachute regiment's watchwords are professionalism, resilience, discipline, versatility, courage, and self-reliance. It is led by design and it's expert at air land deployments by helicopter, airplane, or parachute. Airborne soldiers stand ready to conduct a range of missions from prevention tasks to complex, high-intensity warfighting. So uh, as you can see now, we've got the recruits of Prim Sol Platoon out on the Trinasium. Uh, what, what are we looking for as DS on this? We're looking for their reaction. So obviously, as soon as the DS give that word of command, do they react straight away? Are they hesitant? And obviously, the way we construct that into the concept of operations and stuff like that as well is if they're in the door of an aircraft and that green light comes on, they need to have that confidence to jump there and then when the PGI tells them to. As we all know, if they don't do that, then obviously that affects the operations out on the ground. If they've not got that bit of specialist equipment or if that man doesn't go, the backlog it has on there, maybe have to do another pass. And again, it all affects us operationally. Having completed the 10 miler before lunch, Joe now has to contend with the Trinasium Aerial Confidence course on the afternoon of day one of test week. If they fail this, they're instantly deemed unfit for service in airborne forces. Right! Turn! Don't touch my belly, Joe. By the front! Quick! March! Uh, we're just about to take on the Trinasium. This is a parcel about a uh, foul event. I come off the 10 miler earlier, um, so I need to pass a 2 and a 20 miler to be able to pass P Company, so I've still got a chance of passing. Um, I've got plenty of points to pick up. Obviously, I need to get through this next event, so I'm not looking too far past that. Um, I'm hoping I can do well in this one now. Follow the, follow the demonstration, you can't go wrong. Just follow exactly what I tell you to do, and you'll get it done. You'll get out of here, and you'll get there too. Happy? Yes, yes sir! Climb! Right, number nine, listen. Stand by. Go. The directing staff expect the recruits to respond to words of command without hesitation. Joe must react with confidence and commit fully to each obstacle. Any recruit deemed to be hesitant will be instructed to complete the activity again. This is essential to ensure a recruit is suitable to move on from P Company to RAF Bryce Norton where they will be expected to complete their parachute descents prior to arriving at their battalion. Stop there, head down to toes. Carry on. Private Cooper is still feeling the effects of this morning's 10 miler. But after being assessed by the P Company medical team, he is keen to get straight back to it. Right, number three, listen in. Stand by! Go! Come on, Joe, best speed. Climb down. Not that one, you can see the one. Get away. 
That's me, Joe. Fred. Make sure when you get back tonight, you keep taking the fluids on. Don't overdo the fluids. As number three just found out there, just take on enough fluids to get you through. Plenty of hydration, plenty of food, right? Electrolytes, all that good stuff. Get that inside you, ready for tomorrow morning. Log race. Remember what I've said before. Most of you here have been on the bones of your ass on an exercise where you've got to the end of it and surprise, there's a log there for you to take through, right? If you can do that, then you can certainly do this tomorrow morning fresh. Yep. Yes, sir. Let's get that in the head, get those positive thoughts in, and I'll see you in the morning. Sir. Just completed the Trinasium event, which is the second event of P Company. Uh, no problems, perfect weather for us. No wind, no rain. It's just no problem, everyone's passed. Yeah, well, it was pretty easy. We've done it plenty of times before, so we've been uh, well accustomed to it by now. Uh, Trinasium went all right, to be fair. I uh, managed to get through it. I had to redo the rope swing because I hesitated on the second on the second go. It was, um, so I just made me redo it again. So it was just about reacting to that word of command. But apart from that, everything else went well. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I passed that one. Uh, tomorrow is Black Thursday, commonly known as the hardest day in P Company. So in the morning we'll have the log race, and then in the afternoon we'll have the steeple chase. Um, for today, I was feeling really confident for it, but I just need to make sure I do my recovery right tonight, eat well before, uh, get plenty of water down us and try and, uh, try and go into a guns blazing tomorrow. So this morning we'll have the log race, which is a team event between eight men on the log. Uh, we've got 18 minutes to complete it, and then in the afternoon we'll have the steeple chase. I'm feeling better than I did yesterday. I had a bit of a day yesterday. I came up to 10 mile and like just after the second water stop. Uh, don't really know what happened, but yeah, I'm feeling better today. So yeah, I feel as ready as I'm going to be for the log. Just got to get through it. It's 18 minutes of work, just got to hold on. Drive that long for us I missed the log uh, due to being injured and the injury sooner when I come back. This tune's already done it, so I'm a bit nervous to touch it for the first time. I'm feeling alright, a bit sore from the uh, 10 mile yesterday, but a uh, good stretch off last night has helped me out, I think. Yeah, this is the one I'm the most uh, apprehensive about. We've had the least sort of time factors in it, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it is. It's going to be hard. Listen to me, okay? Log race, right? Arguably the hardest event on the peak of me, okay? Just get it in your mind now. As soon as you get that log, push through it, okay? This event, right, you'll remember this for the rest of your lives, okay? People always ask you, right, did you stay on the log? Okay, just get it in that mindset now. Think about the maroon machine when you're hanging out, going around. Okay, think about this at the end, okay? Everyone happy with that? Yes, sir! Right, if you're not forward of your station, Okay, you're gonna get a strike. You get three strikes, you're gone. Everyone happy with that? Yes, sir! Oh, bloke in front of you's hanging out. Get a grip of him. One minute! One
you did last night to get yourself recovered. Make sure you keep doing that, yeah? Just start. Start. No, sorry, sorry. Situational awareness, yeah? Number 26 was the last man standing on his log and the directing staff have jumped on with him to get the log over the finish line. This level of commitment is exactly what the directing staff are looking for. Despite starting with eight in a team, many of the logs are down to just three individuals. Regardless of this, Joe is expected to keep pushing forward. Log done, log four. Yeah, happy? Yeah, it went all right. I'm glad I managed to stay on and one of arguably the hardest events I did get Choked in the last, choked in the last 50 meters, which is pretty disappointing. But it is what it is. I still got points. Uh, later on in the day, uh, we've got the steeplechase, another hard event. That should be in the afternoon, so got that to look forward to. Uh, yeah, it was tough as I was expecting it to be. I won't lie when I say it's going to be the hardest event. Uh, seven have started, three have finished. It was a pretty tough day, but we come from yesterday. Got one bit so now looking forward to the steeple chase in the afternoon. Yeah, it was alright. I thought I was doing better than I was, but apparently I went in front of my knot, so I was struck off. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Bad, but after we got through the water, I thought it was fine. The log was moving rapid, my log was in first, but yeah. Uh, steeple chase this afternoon. It's a good event, a chance to make up some points, so I look forward to that. So that's the two mile log race. Um, it simulates moving heavy weapons, ammunition or fire stores to the front, front of the battlefield where it's needed. Crucially, like with any other event, they need to arrive prepared to fight. Today we've lost about five. It's expected they've still got the stretch of race. If they pull that out of the bag, they can still pass. 